thank you, first of all, everyone to attend this webinar. Uh, and I would like to thank uh, Christian Sbardella, uh, our uh, expert for extra virgin olive oil. And uh, we, with him, uh, we establish a, a, a strong uh, uh, relations in bringing uh, brands of uh, Toscano uh, extra virgin olive oil to Thailand uh, over a year ago. Uh, right now, because of the uh, emergency, global emergency, uh, we still want to talk about the quality of Italian food. And uh, we are with him connected from Italy right now. And uh, let me give you like a brief uh, uh, information about the background of uh, Christian and the company. Uh, today, uh, we talk about extra virgin olive oil under the project uh, True Italian Taste with the patronage of Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation and Asso Camera Estero. Uh, this one is the second webinar uh, in a project that will last until 2021 with events online and events uh, in presence. Um, about uh, the uh, extra virgin olive oil, uh, we want to talk uh, about quality, tradition, authenticity, and uh, Christian uh, from Toscano uh, is a marketing manager and head of communication uh, of the company and uh, responsible for all corporate marketing, researching and planning campaigns. Uh, he's also a certified uh, tester and teacher of olive oil tasting and training a trainer in schools for professionals. Um, during this uh, event, uh, uh, Christian will uh, display a presentation of the authenticity and uh, certified uh, oil for Italy. And after the presentation, we will open uh, uh, the discussion for a Q&A uh, for everyone. I will be the moderator and uh, with no much further ado, now we leave our virtual floor to Christian. Uh, Christian, please. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and thank you again for everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Michele. Good uh, evening to everyone. I'm very proud to, to be here in this new important appointment and the opportunity to given to, to me and to the, the consortium to represent an important product that is extra virgin olive oil. And the goal of this presentation into is to value of certification and to try to compare the extra virgin olive oil without certification against the extra virgin olive oil with a, a trademark PDO and PGI. Uh, my, my goal is to, to, to try to explain in a better way the, the meaning of these, uh, these two trademarks adopted by the European Union. And uh, I can share my presentation. Just give me some seconds. Okay. Okay. It, it is clear the presentation. Is okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Perfect. We... Yes. Perfect. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much, Michele. And I would like to thank the, the Chamber of Commerce in Bangkok. Uh, unfortunately, these three uh, occasion, this third occasion, is uh, virtual for the the enemy of uh, coronavirus, coronavirus, and I, I hope to come back in, in Bangkok to, to live a real experience with you, to try to explain directly and to taste the extra virgin olive oil, because tasting is the, is the better way to appreciate the characteristic, the organoleptic characteristic of the, the true extra virgin olive oil. Before exploring the, the meaning of uh, the trademark, I, I would like to share with you this uh, question, how extra virgin oil is born, because I consider it very important and preparatory for you to understand that the oil is uh, extra virgin oil, the true extra virgin oil is uh, not industrial, is not homologated product, in, uh, in order that every year these two sets of factors, economic and environmental uh, elements, can be, can be different and can, uh, and can influence the final product in order that the agronomic factors include the singular types of uh, varieties of 
only trees. And uh, the technique, uh, the method of extraction and cultivation, and for example, the, the period of, uh, of uh, harvesting that influence in the, in the best way, in a strong way, in the final product. Because the green olives is, is, uh, are able to produce a stronger oil that's characterized by bitter and pungent sensation in, in, instead of uh, more ripe olive fruit that is able to produce a milder, softer, and uh, less pungent in general extra virgin olive oil. And the other aspect regards the environmental factors that uh, embrace uh, several kinds of uh, elements describe the, the landscape, starting from, for example, the microclimate condition, the different soil, uh, and the exposure of the olive orchard. For example. So it's important for you to appreciate that these several kinds of factors can be different every year. And uh, it's important to classify the extra virgin of oil like uh, and a true handicraft production. It's a very good example of uh, craftsmanship. And extra virgin olive oil certified uh, is uh, something more, can present something more that we are going to discover in the middle part of this presentation. Without forgetting that extra virgin olive oil is a, a genuine product. It's very pure, sincere, without any kind of uh, misleading for, uh, for the consumer, and for, uh, in general, for the, for the trade, like you. Because it's a, a, a typical product obtained by the fruit, sorted by the fruit without any chemical uh, means, which cause no alteration of the oil. It's important because uh, this, uh, this, uh, this very simple, very genuine uh, production uh, system of production is very short, but at the same time is uh, very pure. The sanity is a purity of this oil uh, is uh, obtained by a pure a single, uh, a simple extraction starting from the olive fruit. In a very short passage, we are going to discover together in the, in the first slide, is, is a very essential for you to remind this aspect because uh, is like a, a mirror of this kind of fruit because there is no alteration of the final product. And it's very important for our health and for our pleasure, for our sensory pleasure in a more general way. This is a, a, like a very short, simple uh, and virtual journey, journey like a translation in the, in the meal, just to give you a possibility to image that the single steps, single stages of production, starting from uh, the collection of the oil in, in, in uh, the oil, olive oils, in the olive trees, sorry, do it in, the, in, the, in this tank, and uh, following with this uh, uh, washing system method of using uh, potable, potable water, and uh, after crushing the single, uh, the wall of fruits, including the the, the peel, the, the core, and the, the pulp. There is like the result is similar of pasta, pasta of uh, fruit, of olive fruit, and then the final, pro the final process of uh, centrifuge is similar like uh, our washing machine. It's the same system to divide the solid, the solid uh, residues that is called pumice, and uh, the liquid our liquid gold that is uh, the final product, is extra virgin olive oil. As you can see, it's very simple, very easy, it's a very short passage, but at the same time it's very difficult because there is no alteration, there is no manipulation by the human man, the human uh, choice, because uh, uh, if you start with a good quality of, uh, of olive, uh, olive fruit, it's very easy to produce a bad oil or the, or the opposite side, the better oil, because there is no alteration in this, uh, in this uh, very simple process. And now I, I think, I reckon that it's very, could be very useful for you to repeat or in general to understand, to appreciate the 
uh, this table of a different that represent the different oil categories of market in the in the world, starting from the the roast category that is called glaring olive oil in a, in Italian glaring is a lampante. It's not um, it's not fit for the consumption because uh, this uh, this oil uh, is a uh, presents. Uh, High level of uh, acidity, approximately three percent, instead of uh, the maximum level of acidity for the extra virgin olive oil that is uh, zero point eight percent. So you can imagine very toxic and very harmful for uh, our health and for our throat, for example. But using this glaring oil, uh, olive oil, the in industry is able to produce another oil that is called uh, olive oil. Using a refining process, using a deodorization, the acidification, any, any kind of chemical refining process, and matching this oil that is, is not still fit for the consumption with a small amount of extra virgin olive oil or virgin olive oil, final, the final product is called olive oil. So it, it, it's very misleading for the for the consumer because the, the name is very similar. It, 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 it has the same suffix, olive oil, the same sound of extra virgin olive oil, but the production process is very different between extra virgin olive oil and olive oil. So be careful, pay attention on reading the label because it's the only way to, to know and to appreciate, so to, to understand the, the quality of uh, the final product that you are going to purchase. Another oil uh, that is very is common in the, the market is uh, olive re residues olive oil. It's produced by the pomace, the solid pomace, the solid residues, using a solvent and in general chemical refining process. The, the product is called olive pomace olive oil. So, I think that it is important to concentrate, to pay attention on the, the top of quality, the best quality that is represented by extra virgin olive oil, but the certified extra virgin olive oil is uh, above this category because it's a, it presents something more. And my goal is to give you the information to appreciate what does it mean something more? What is the added value that, uh, that embrace, that belong to the certified extra virgin olive oil. And now we are going to discover it together. But without forgetting that this is another important element, this important content that belongs solely to the Be so healthy for our for our life in our life. We consider life a wealth of well-being because it's rich of uh, folic acid and other polyunsaturated acid, omega three and omega six, and they are responsible to fight against the bad cholesterol LDL and to ensure the the, the growth of uh, HDL, the good cholesterol, for example. But I, I want to pay attention on the last categories, last two elements that are represented by polyphenols and tocopherols that are the antioxidant, natural antioxidant, not solely for our health, for our body, but at the same time for the, from, for, from the oil, for the oil and for its shelf life. So these uh, four categories, these four uh, features belong solely, I repeat, solely for the extra virgin oil that is uh, represented by a high quality and in general the, extra, the certified extra virgin olive oil present something more something parameters uh, more strict more rigid than the normal extra virgin olive oil now there is the possibility for you to become uh, more familiar with two with these two logos these two trademarks that are PDO and PGI, 
the OAPGI that means protected denomination of origin and protected geographical indication. And these two trademarks are uh, adopted by European Union in, 2000, in uh, 1992 with the regulation 2081 with a, a goal, with the aim to protect and to strict uh, and to create a, a more strict, more rigid link between the product, the foodstuff in general, produced in the European Union and its origin and their origin. So this important, this element, this uh, feature, the origin is the basement of uh, the certification, is the basement of the, is the pillar of traceability and is the true element that establish a strict link between the territory of production and the, the same product. And it's important for the consumers and the, for the producer to for the producer to create like a, a, a sort of agreement using these two trademarks because it's the only way to create, I repeat, this strong union between the landscape, in general the agronomic factors and the environmental factors and the product and to give the possibility to allow to the consumer to, to be sure to purchase a true product and to very original product. Here is the simplification <coughs> uh, uh, of the meaning, the, 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 the regular definition of the these two trademarks. Uh, I, I think that it would be boring to read because it is very long. I, I think it is important to emphasize that uh, every one of them is able to protect and to create, uh, uh, to create uh, uh, a perfect uh, origin, a uh, strict origin with the, the territory caused by, for example, uh, the particular geographical uh, environment, uh, including the human, uh, the human choice, the human factors, not solely natural landscape, or for example, the reputation or uh, other attributes uh, like the geographical origin. But it's important to emphasize this, uh, this rule of these two trademarks. Uh, so I, I repeat to uh, give the possibility to the consumer, but also for the producer to call the product with the name of the territory, the region territory where this product is, this foodstuff, foodstuff is produced. For example, for the Toscan PGI that we are going to explain in a, in, in a couple of to sell not solely a product, to market and to promote true origin, a true original product, a native product certified not by the producer but certified by a, a third board authorized in this case by the Ministry of Italian Agriculture. This is another element I can, uh, I can add I can add origin, I can mention origin and third board. It's important to identify that there is a certification attribute by another board, not from the consortium or, for example, from the, from directly from the, the, final, uh, the final producer. So this is a, a, another another mark, uh, is a very short mention to uh, emphasize uh, that this is important, the organic trademark, but in, it, it is not able to identify and to uh, establish the origin of the, the product. It's important because it could be complementary to uh, enrich uh, the, the, the essential certification uh, adopted by the or PGI because this organic trademark is responsible for the climate environment protection. There is a, a total absence of use of chemical and synthetic products. It's very transparent for the consumers and the respect for the environment, for the environment in general. So I, 
I wanted to, to bring for you this short mention just to emphasize, I remember to emphasize that is another certification for the production process, not for the origin of the product. So by the uh, is so important, so strategic for the for, for our nation, more in general, more in particular for Ascani, for example. So because uh, Italy Italy boasts a, a lot of varieties, approximately 590 variety of olive trees. For this reason, Italy is the is the first, at the top of the classification, in the list of uh, the producer in the nation in the in the world the first for quant quantity is spain but the, the first for uh, is uh, biodiversity is uh, absolutely sure that is uh, italy and it's important for uh, for our nation for our uh, <coughs> for our uh, proud for example to protect to preserve to maintain this uh, and to promote this important heritage create uh, a strong link between the territory that start from Lake of Garda in Veneto, in the north of Italy, until the south in Sicily. There are a lot, of, there is a lot of varieties and other certified extra virgin olive oil that we are going to discover in the next in the next slide. It's important to create this origin using and to establish the, the, this link, this street link using uh, with the PDO and PGI trademarks. But unfortunately, unfortunately in uh, Italy, but not so in Italy, in European Union, there is a lack of awareness of, this, uh, of these two trademarks because it is uh, an estimation estimated by the ministry in, in Italian ministry that approximately 30% of people know the, the meaning and in the rest of the European Union, approximately 500%. So it's important for uh, our goal, for the consortium in general, for the, the trade, and for the, in general, for the every nation, to every main nation, to, uh, to create more awareness, more culture in the, the final consumers, to become more familiar with these two trade logo that are recognizable not solely for the name, but also for the, the different colors, EDO, yellow and red, and PGI, in the yellow and blue. So I think that it's important to meditate of this, uh, of this, uh, about this data, because Italy, as I told you, boasts uh, a lot of certified OEM, approximately 48 different certifications, starting from, as I told you, top EDO Garda, goes to, in, uh, to the, in the north of Italy, going through Venezia Giulia, for example, passing through Tuscany, and uh, the end in, in Sicily, in the south of, uh, of Italy. And uh, in, uh, in Tuscany, <clears throat> Tuscany has five denominations. The one regional denomination is Toscano uh, PGI and other, other uh, EDO, smaller than uh, than uh, Toscano PGI, is the Chianti Classico, Seggiano, Terra di Siena, some others. But it's important to emphasize that Tuscany and general Italy is not famous for quantity, but for the quality, for this important heritage that embraces a lot of uh, varieties. Every single kind of uh, uh, olive trees, olive variety is able to produce a different type of oil, of extra virgin olive oil, that is able to tell this territory solely using uh, uh, this uh, trademark, PDO and PGI, that are responsible to, uh, so to, to, to create, you know, to fix this uh, strong union between the territory, every single portion territory and, uh, and the food stuff. <clears throat> the only culture in Tuscany, as I mentioned before, is very strategic for our economy, for our rural, rural economy. And this uh, picture is uh, I think that it's be fascinating for 
for you, for me, every every time that I am able to, to see, because that is a, it's the only way to represent our landscape, our territory, our history, art, and our uh, extra virgin olive oil. And it's important to, to, to mark the oil using a perfect and sincere and a union, a sincere and pure union between this territory and the product using the PGI, the Toscano PGI, that represents the, the only way to call the oil with this strategic name that is Toscano. It's significant to explain the, the role of the consortium and the, the reason why the consortium was born in 1987, because before birth of a Toscano PGI, uh, extra, the extra virgin olive oil passed as uh, Toscano uh, was approximately 60,000 ton. If you, if you understand, if you imagine that the average production in Tuscany of extra virgin olive oil, not solely Tuscan, not solely Tuscan general extra virgin olive oil is uh, 20 ton, 20,000 ton, you can imagine that there, there was a, a lot of fake of extra virgin olive oil passed as Toscano. As a force to scan, create a strong confusion misleading in the final consumer and a, a significant damage for the set for the producer that work in our <coughs> in our region uh, after post birth to scan PGI is a percentage reduced a lot arriving approximately in 2000 and 3000 ton that represent percentage, ever a percentage between uh, 15 and 20 percent of the extra virgin olive oil produced in Tuscany. It's very important and essential uh, for you to understand this, uh, this data because it's the, the first reason to guarantee the true extra virgin olive oil, the true Tuscan extra virgin olive oil produced in our, in our region. This is a very short exemplification to remind that the Toscano was uh, registered in 1998 under regulation on uh, European Union 2001 of uh, 1992. It's very, as I told you before, as I mentioned in my explanation. What does it mean, Toscano? Toscano is the uh, PGI denomination, the geographical indication uh, that uh, once that every phase is compulsory carry out within these uh, boundaries, starting from the north of uh, Tuscany until the, the south of, of Tuscany, passing through the 10 provinces in, uh, in Tuscany as well. It is important for, uh, uh, for emphasize, to emphasize another, uh, another, in, in another value to add uh, the PGI and PDO trademarks to remind that solving this PDO and, PDI, PDO and PGI has uh, the possibility to certify the oil in, uh, in order that uh, to maintain, to respect this production regulation. The production regulation is uh, like uh, a Bible, like uh, a pure and sincere uh, agreement, as I as I told you at the, at the beginning of the presentation, between the consumer and the producer. And it is available on uh, the website of every consortium because there is a, a list, sort of a list of uh, every single rules that the producer has to respect to allow him to certify the oil. But first of all, there is a, a list of varieties, the method of cultivation, of extraction. There is a uh, a list to discover every this description feature to discover every secrets of, uh, of the, this certified product is very clear, sincere, without any any kind to mislead and to create confusion in the, <coughs> in the consumer. Uh, passing through three uh, pillar, three uh, chapters that uh, are responsible to to build the total warranty. For example, the first of all is the origin, as I, as I mentioned more, more, more times in this presentation, the origin is the pillar, is the amazement of traceability 
the possibility to reconstruct the path of the purchase bottle. And the second, the third, the quality and typicality as, are, uh, as well very strategic, important, essential for, uh, for the consumer and for the producer because uh, there is the possibility to verify the respect in order that the production regulation about the chemical, physical, and organoleptic parameters. And slowly, the extra virgin olive oil certified by PBO and PGI uh, marks are obliged to pass the, this new, this uh, uh, important and this very rigid examination that is the organoleptic parameters. It's important because there is a commission, professional commissions authorized by the ministry. I'm a member in a commission of uh, uh, professional taster in uh, in Florence, for example, it is important because it's another element, another uh, value that's impossible that's impossible to add to the the, 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 the I don't know the, the, the important uh, attribute for the extra virgin olive oil certified to identify to distinguish the normal extra virgin olive oil between extra virgin olive oil and certified extra virgin olive oil. How to recognize Toscano PGI? It's another way to recognize Toscano PGI. It's the only way so at the first sight is to read the label and to discover, to seek, to search our trademark on the neck of every, of every certified bottle. And in this label, there are Three elements that are reading them is possible to identify the true task and extra virgin revoid. First of all, our trademark in the center of this label, when there is the name of the denomination, the oil, Toscano, there is the capacity of the bottle expressed in liter, and this number. This number is an alpha numeric code that is possible using this number to reconstruct using our traceability. If you remember uh, discovering the origin, I, I mentioned the traceability and the possibility to reconstruct the, this full journey you know, to the passing through the meal uh, until the, the peacemaker and the, the, the bottling. And it is a very useful uh, at the same time, it's, it's important to, for the consumer to be sure. It's another uh, step to create more uh, awareness and more uh, to become more sure to, to be sure to, to buy, to purchase a true Tuscan extra virgin olive oil, like an ID. In fact, the result of our traceability is, is, uh, is so, is uh, like a, a an idea, a certification, when there is the, the name of the, the farm, the series, the, the name of the label, the number, the capacity of the bottle, and uh, the name of the main board, the certified the oil. If, if you remember well, is another element that I want to remind, because it's important that there is another, another board that certified the oil to identify the total absence of uh, interesting co conflict between the producer and the consortium and the product. And it is important the list of uh, every single uh, people, every single element, steps that are able to produce the, the final oil, starting from the peacemaker, the meal, and all the ingredients. So I think that since 2003, the consortium has has been providing this um, traceability online. And the, we are very proud for, for this, this uh, system to identify and to give the possibility to the consumer to, to be very sure. We are ready to, to, to finish the, this, uh, this presentation uh, leaving with a, a small uh, advice to, to read the label in, uh, in the bottle. Because this uh, draft, this picture is very, uh, is very nice. So, but it's very common because the final consumer is not so 
aware. It's very difficult to orientate the, the choice because there is a, a lot of extra virgin olive oil or other categories that we, we discussed, we, we explained in the presentation. This example of, of, uh, of label uh, is a label to scan of PGI for the export. There is the classification mark extra virgin olive oil, which is a large to mention to write and the name of the denomination is to scan the protected geographical indication is the registration the european union registration the trademark pgi and the content expressed in this case in milliliter or in ounce on the back of the the label there is the same uh, uh, mention the same uh, name extra virgin and uh, toscano the nutrition facts that is uh, obliged uh, since uh, three four years ago, and uh, the other is uh, another is uh, the certified control body, as I told you, the main board, and uh, the store in a dry, cool place because it's important to recommend the consumer to store the oil against. Uh, in a good place and in a dry, cool, cool place. Yes, exactly. And the other, and the, the other mention, the other uh, recommendation is best before and. It's important to to know that the oil is not harmful for our health after the date of expire. But it is important to to use the oil. Is a Recommendable to use the oil uh, not more than 18 months from uh, from bottling, approximately. It would be advisable for to maintain the same characteristics, the original characteristics, organ chemical and organic characteristic. Before leaving, this is our uh, uh, campaign. It's one of the the last campaign in Toscana del Guerrero that in in English is not that. It has the same performance, the same sound, but it's truly Tuscan. And we guarantee, we guarantee for, the for the consumer and for our products. Thank you so much for your attention, and I remain at your disposal for any further information and question that you want to do. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Christian. And uh, now we have a uh, time for a Q&A session. And I hope, uh, uh, of course, your presentation was very insightful. Uh, so I believe that probably it's uh, um, most of the participants are already in the food and beverage. And um, today, we, uh, today I can show you also actually products that uh, uh, Christian mentioned to you, so we have the label of uh, the brand uh, just to show, uh, for example, where the certificate appears. Um, yeah, this one is not a exactly. here, but I just want to show you <laughs> that the product, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the product is labeled as uh, uh, Christian show in the presentation, but here you might see in 3D, for example. And of course, uh, we have this product in the Chamber of Commerce because uh, about a year ago, we were um, supporting the company to find uh, um, an importer to Thailand. And um, uh, among the participants, we have also representatives from uh, um, food and beverage companies and uh, GDO. And uh, um, please, if anyone wants to uh, talk to Christian uh, since we don't have so many participants instead of using the chat I can leave also the audio available Christian for, ex uh, for example yeah, yeah. One, um, um, as you said before uh, we have several uh, certificates and mm -hmm. say several layers that uh, uh, describe olive oil uh, to a certain, uh, uh, let's say, pureness. Um, I understand that sometimes uh, uh, an olive oil can be mixed with an extra virgin olive oil 
in order, in order to acquire on a market a higher uh, level of uh, um, guarantee. Uh, but I remember like the last time we talked, uh, you also mentioned that uh, um, could be a trick and it's better to uh, understand uh, exactly what you're buying. Uh, would you like to say something more about uh, this type of things that maybe when uh, um, you mix together different olive oils from different uh, fields and something maybe related about what is a, a real extra virgin, uh, extra virgin olive oil, for example? Well, the, uh, it's, it's possible to mix and to <coughs> create a, a perfect matching between some different kinds of uh, olive, uh, olive uh, trees, olive fruit varieties. As I, as I mentioned, in Italy, there are 500 varieties. In, in Italy, in Tuscany, approximately 80 native varieties. So, to be very advisable and very fascinating for the, the producer to, to mix in a, in a better way these, these different kinds of varieties because the final product could present, uh, could present a stronger uh, heritage, a stronger uh, profile, organolytic profile, instead using one single variety. But it's, it's common, as, as the same way is common for the producer in the market to use single variety. variety. In this case, the oil is called uh, mono cultivar, mono, var mono varietale, for example, lecino, frantoio, moraiolo, that present the, the most common varieties cultivated in, uh, in Tuscany, but in general in the, in the center part of, uh, of Italy. Uh, I think that could be not correct to, to mix the extra virgin olive oil or, for example, to, to sell an extra virgin olive oil, but the, the, the original product is another category, for example, olive oil or other, for example, seed oil. In this case, there is a drought. It's a, not correct, and is a, <clears throat> there is a very dangerous for <laughs> for the for the final consumer, but for but it's dangerous for the in general for the true economy because it is not uh, <clears throat> it is not correct. It's an illegal use of the denomination of the class of the market classification like extra virgin olive oil. I think that uh, is important for the for the consumer to to become more aware, more familiar, uh, tasting different kinds of extra virgin olive oil in order that in Italy there are a lot of varieties starting from uh, the north until the, the south and every single variety is able to, to tell something of this landscape and uh, <clears throat> the landscape is the result of the human choices, the human, uh, the human behavior and the uh, human professional skill. And uh, I think that it could be very fascinating to appreciate these different kinds of uh, characteristics because it, uh, it's the only way to promote, to sell, and to be very sincere with the consumer and to, to create a new, more aware consumer that it, uh, would be very responsible to change the, to change the, the future of this sector it is very important to distinguish the true oliviculture and the industrial oliviculture, or, or, or better, the true extra virgin olive oil and the industrial extra virgin olive oil. Okay, thank you. Thank you for uh, your reply. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. Thank you, John, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much for the presentation. Uh, I'm Jan Jury. I'm plant based. I'm a, I'm a foodie. I'm a plant based chef, and I like to know if there if if there is any chance that we're going to have. Maybe we can have a, a real olive oil tasting because I mean this is wonderful that we have this on Zoom. That we have this meeting on Zoom. We getting to know more about olive oil, but then. It's nothing 
as close as tasting the real thing. So if yeah. there is any chance that we can have the actual olive oil tasting in the future, that's my question. I, I hope to, to, to be able to organize a new appointment. I don't know. I, I hope to come back in, uh, in Bangkok very soon. <laughs> To, lead, to, to be able to live a real experience, as I told you, and to let you the possibility to taste directly the, the extra virgin olive oil and to become uh, uh, aware, to appreciate, and to distinguish not solely the positive attributes, but especially the negative attributes. And it's the only way to, to become familiar and to know, to distinguish the, the positive hints, the very fascinating hints of uh, art shock, uh, of uh, of uh, all, almond, uh, or for example, the chopped grass. That is the only way to recognize to uh, a, a true, a positive, ex a good extra virgin olive oil. Instead of, for example, the the hint of uh, the, the the butter, or for example, the ham that are responsible for another kind of characteristics that are negative. That is called rancid. Because it's the, the oil is a, or is composed for 90 percent of uh, acid, fatty acid, no? and then uh, is a uh, is important for the consumer for uh, for you to distinguish this. Uh, when it, w w w how can uh, recognize a true extra virgin olive oil, a good extra virgin olive oil, and uh, a bad extra virgin olive oil using our senses? The only way to become familiar using our senses. And I, I hope to organize with uh, Michele a new appointment. Uh, I don't know, probably very soon uh, is, uh, is possible virtual. It's the only way to, to send uh, a sample and to create a virtual tasting uh, that now is very common, <laughs> unfortunately, because I prefer to live in experience, in experience, real experience with you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. And uh, perhaps I can add that uh, in 2019, we had uh, uh, two olive oil tasting with Christian in presence in, uh, in Bangkok. And um, hopefully, let's say, by finding an importer, uh, some of the brands that Toscano creates will be soon available in Bangkok. And um, actually, something that is very interesting that came up during the olive oil tasting is that, uh, Christian, you told us that um, it's better to use a cup uh, with opaque color because the color of the olive oil is not uh, uh, a characteristic that tells actually uh, the quality of the olive oil. So uh, you were telling us this and everyone was surprised because uh, uh, for someone that is not in this uh, industry, the first thing that attracts your attention is the color of the olive oil. And uh, that was very interesting and insightful also. If you want to add something about uh, the, uh, uh, the process of the olive oil testing, how you, you do it usually, that uh, probably is interesting to share. Yeah. Uh, as, you, as you told very very well, Michele, it's, import, it's not important. The color is, uh, doesn't represent an index of quality for the extra virgin olive oil because uh, it's normal, uh, it's uh, churning, it's a um, change, it's turning out, uh, starting from the, the green highlights color is uh, responsible for the, the new extra virgin oil produced uh, approximately between October and November. But during the, <clears throat> during the time, it's normal, the passage, in uh, starting from uh, green uh, until a uh, more yellow, more yellowish hue or color, because there is a substitution from chlorophyll and carotene. But it's not important to, to pay attention on, on the color because uh, a responsible uh, characteristic parameters to, to distinguish and to appreciate and to recognize are three the fruity note and the bitter and pungent. There is three acid positive attributes that we are we have uh, the possibility and we have to discover to see to search during our our tasting. 
the fruity is uh, is normal. It's the it's the first impression that you have to to see during the, our nose. The first element, the first sense, the, the most potent sense is the in our human body is the our nose. And it's important to, to distinguish and to, to smell the oil covering without the, allowing the possibility to these volatile components to, to not receive and uh, identify uh, very, easy, very easily the, the scent, the note of olive fruit. Because if you remember well, the sincere production phases, stages of production is a simple mechanical extraction, like a pure olive juice. And the first impression, the first hint is the reminiscent of the olive fruit. So, bitter for the taste and the smell of artichoke, as I told you, for example, the leaves, or in general, the olive fruit. So, is a, I, I don't want to to, to give you now the single features, no, the single passage of the, the tasting, because uh, I would like to organize another, no, another uh, appointment uh, dedicated solely for the, uh, to illustrate the method of uh, tasting, because I think that is, uh, is a profession is important pre preparatory for you to identify and to classify the oil using our senses. After purchasing bottle is the only way to recognize that you are next to the one. Well, uh, thank you, Christian, for mentioning this. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, uh, tasting variety of olive oil with uh, a guide actually that uh, uh, can lead you through uh, different uh, uh, taste and characteristic is uh, like in. Uh, enrich the experience so it was very interesting i remember like tasting some uh, of the labels so you can pass through a, a kind of a bitter or a grassy uh, taste uh, in another case uh, you actually can feel uh, the flavor of flowers in some other case you have very soft blend uh, that can uh, uh, they're not bitter at all and they can match uh, uh, for example, like a soft taste, like, uh, um, for example, fish, for example. Yes, exactly. It's important to prepare with the different kinds of uh, recipes. But in Kune Janjari, uh, well, you can uh, keep in touch with us, uh, with my office, uh, because probably, hopefully soon, we, we are able also to uh, organize uh, a, an event. Uh, perhaps we can... Uh, uh, meet with you since, let's say, Bangkok uh, hopefully is not in lockdown anymore and uh, we can help you also with a choice. Um, and I would like to ask if anybody else would like to ask uh, uh, something to Christian that uh, today very busy but dedicated one hour to us. If you want to ask anything, uh, either way you can uh, raise your hand in the video or drop uh, a text in the chat box. Okay, I I think that uh, we are close to the conclusion. Christian, our audience uh, probably is satisfied by the uh, your presentation <laughs> so far, and it was very very detailed. I, I don't know if you can share it with us, uh, or anyhow, if you. Uh, if you want to share it with us, uh, uh, we will send it to the participant and the people that subscribe. And yeah. uh, uh, we keep in touch uh, with uh, all of them. Um, Absolutely, agree. Uh, okay, very well. Sure. I think, uh, our uh, webinar is uh, close to a conclusion. Now is an hour. And uh, I thank you, uh, Christian and Toscano, for your availability and the great presentation. As a chamber, we are here in Bangkok and uh, we are very happy if we can follow up after your request and address to uh, Toscano in Italy. Uh, we are looking forward for a reopening of international uh, travel and hopefully in September, perhaps. And of course, Christian, you and your team are always welcome to be back to Bangkok. Yeah, 
I, I, I hope to come back. Yeah. And again, I want to thank uh, everyone to be part of this webinar that is under the project uh, called the True Italian Taste. And uh, of course, olive oil is one of the main ingredients of the Mediterranean diet and cuisine. So again, thank you everyone. Thank you to Toscano and Christian. Thank you so much to everyone and for all participants. And thank you so much, Michele, for this new event. Garcia. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Ciao. Have a good week and thank you again. Thank you. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. Ciao, Christian. Ciao, ciao, Ecco, ciao.